I'll jump down to the side and let's walk around real quick see if there's something quick glance nope can't climb up derailed correct there's gonna be a better way to do this That pin is still stuck in there. I need something to bash it up with, I'm guessing. Not like I know, but it will make sense, I think. Wonder if anybody has anything useful. Let's go back here and talk to Ben. Ben has something. We found a notebook that we think might have had some starter directions on it, but the page is missing. Well, I'm sure you guys will figure it out. Thanks for being useful, bro. There's a notepad on the train. Do you have any pencils or anything in your pack? No, I wish. Maybe in the RV. What do you need it for? There used to be something written on the notepad that I need to know about. Well, if you're not using it, I'd take it. I'm out of paper, and there's all sorts of new leaves around here. <laughs> hey, Animal crackers. If Duck's up for it. Thank you. That's very thoughtful. He isn't fussy, you know. What? Most kids, they're really fussy about what they'll eat. Hate vegetables, that kind of thing. Not Duck, huh? No. The most trouble I ever have is making him use a fork. <laughs> Thank you, Lee. Sure. All right, Lily. You better jump me. So I have a reason to kill you. Hey, Lily. Lily. I'm sitting here tied up like an animal while you guys decide what to do with me. It's not like that. Then what's it like? Lily. There's a reason you're tied up like that, you know? <laughs> that was meaningful and totally worth my click in five seconds of my life. Are there any pencils? Something? No? Oh. What was that? A pencil. Sharpened too. Bows. Yeah. I'm leaving. I'm gonna stop you. No, you're not. I'm not going to hurt you. Come with me. We could take the RV right now. He left the keys in it. No way! Didn't think you would say yes. I can't let you take the RV. Don't be crazy. You're not letting me take it. Sorry, Lee. I really am. Well, she's not tied up anymore. Holy shit! She's stealing the RV! Lily! Come back here, you crazy bitch! Fuck! Stop! Now he's gonna put the blame on me for letting her come with. At least we don't need it. Need it. Let's focus on the train. <laughs> well, we're fucked if we don't figure out how this thing works. Can't spend the night out here. Duck is still sick, you know. We need to get to the city, the coast. Oh boy. Why can't I move? There we go. 
I have a pencil. Let's go back in there. Use it on the paper. Let me just look in here, actually. Oh, he just opens the same one. Okay. Oh, wait, no, he didn't. Two wells. Spike remover. Guess we're taking that one. Yeah, this should work. Maybe if I'd had one of these on me, Lily would not have gotten away. I would have punched her in the face. I wonder what Lily is going to do now. She stole the RV. What's she gonna do? Is she go to Macon and kill the zombies being eaten alive? Seems like a plausible thing to do. You can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Engine start up. Wait, this... I can't read step one to... F step one to five. Wait, what? Okay, now I'm just confused. What? Okay. First, let's go remove that spike. this thing free if I can break it loose first seriously oh god did I have to take all the other tools I thought I was only supposed to take one and then I couldn't carry the others and if I take one of the others he'd just replace it son of a bitch alright that's fine I can deal with this. A rusted shut, but nice and heavy. Nice. He was going to replace them. Just you have two hands, use them. Christ, crying out loud. It's just unnecessary for me to have to go back. What? Two? Twice? I have to go back twice. Just because he can only carry one at a time. It's unnecessary and just breaks the pacing. It's stuck. We need really? a bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. We need a bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. How am I going to do this? I'm just going to assume that the spanner doesn't work. What the hell was his arm doing? Let's go turn the train on then. If I can figure out how to do that. Let's look at the notes. How the fuck? Okay, I see, I see it. Down, down, up, up. Up, down, up. Oh, 
was it up down? Yep. Up down up. Son of a bitch. Whatever you did lit the dash up. So far so good. How was this one? Five? Need to turn them both. Now we're talking. What? Hey! What are you doing? You weren't done. Silly Lee. Okay. Need to turn that one too. No? Okay then. Apparently now we're talking, we're not talking well enough. Oh, I need to go turn the engine on. Derp. tracks at 40 miles an hour. I don't care about the noise. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. Need to remove those things first. The other All rail yours. cars. <laughs> yeah, cuz god forbid you do something useful. Apart from bitch and mo. Still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck and get us unstuck? Yeah. Hey, Kim. What's up? I can't get us free. Any ideas? You're asking me? What do I know about a train? More than me. Sorry, man. You want to talk about that? Really sorry, Kenny. Nobody deserves this. There's nothing to talk about. You heard Cat. He could be fine. We probably shouldn't ignore him. Nobody's ignoring nothing. I'm not worried. You shouldn't be either. I'm sorry about the RV. Keeping her was my call. This one's on me. The radiator's fucking hosed in that thing, so she won't make it 30 miles. We figure this train out, and maybe it turns out she did us a favor. Get back to me. me too. <sighs> okay. Let's go get us fucking on stock. I'll try the spanner, I guess. A fucking spanner. What the hell am I going to do with that thing? What what the tools go? Did I just open the wrong cabinet? I opened the wrong fucking cabinet. What am I thinking? It's the only cabinet I can open. Some of a bee. Alright, fine. I'll get us unstuck. With this thing. Because now it's totally doable. Made a huge difference. Because now we started it, and now it started driving. So it was like, oh my god! I am rust free! So now I can bash it. Yeah! There. Hey, Kenny, we're loose! Hey, Katie, we're loose. You touch any of my stuff? Holy crap, where the hell did you come from? I took the map of the train routes. That's fine, you can have that. Really? Yeah, I got them all right up here. I guess it's no worse for wear. 
Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warm to me right quick in direct sunlight. What? Okay. I suppose. Oh, he's got a guitar. You met Chuck. Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. What a nice guy. What's your game, man? Keeping alive. That's not bad. I like it. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for sure. Models are I'm awful twitching out a little bit. Not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on that? Stay with us. We'd like the company. Playing a guitar. That's pretty boss. Hey Chuck. Honey. Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy. You saw where I live. Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine then. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. You caught us on a bad day. Mm. You still got a couple of kids. And this one's got a good spirit. Creepy. That's some kind of something. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. Hey, sweet pea. That candy Chuck gave you. Taste okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Train's cool, huh? I guess. Scary, kind of. She's scared of trains. We shall not use the train. I'm watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? I don't know. Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. The body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. I'm sorry about the RV. I'm worried. We're really on our own out here now. Yeah, we're putting some time into this train. Worst comes to worse. Boxcar's safe enough to sleep in. Has Clementine said anything to you about Carly or Duck or anything? I'm worried about her. No. That little girl is a puzzle. Yeah. But she's yeah. the cutest puzzle. Poor Carly. God, where did yesterday go? I don't know. Are you okay? I know you were fond of her. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. I do. Don't. I liked her, but she's gone now. I'm sorry, Lee. Anyway. Tough guy attitude. Doesn't fit you, Lee. Only when it really matters. Like when somebody's threatened so Clem. Cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. 
We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. Wow. That wasn't called for. Let me look at him. We can keep going if you want. Damn right I won't. That's what we're doing. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Kent. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. I want to fucking hit-butt him for talking Clem like that. I never talked to Duck like that. Well, I did, but he wasn't there. He was, he was an annoying little prick. Wanted to solve a mystery. You're missing an arm, man. You gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Dad, get him. No. Ah, living got him. Lee. Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Will you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Poor little guy. I know he was an annoying prick, but he did not deserve this. He's just a kid. I do kind of hope he lives. Time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. He's out of time. What? Clem. I'm gonna go get Kenny. Hold on tight in case the train stops fast. <sighs> How am I going to convince Kenny about this? This is gonna be a big one. Shit will hit the fan this time, I think. You need to stop the train. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. He won't be. He's going, Kenny. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. Stop the train. Stop it, goddammit! Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? I don't want to fight him. Calm down, 
about it. How the fuck do you calm down after a day like today? By talking to your friend. You couldn't save Herschel's son then? You can't save Duck now. Shut your mouth! So you're running like a coward. I don't think he said what I wanted him to say. Just leave me the fuck alone! I don't need you, and Duck doesn't need you! Why? I told Kaja I'd get you to stop this and learn. Bet your ass I'm gone. You don't even have a child! You don't know what this is like, you fucker! You're not helping my family! You're not helping Clementine! You're not helping anybody! Oh, God. Give a fuck that we don't get along. I'm not letting you do this to Cat and Duck! You want to hurt people because you're afraid! Losing Duck ain't enough for you! Because you're fucking lose everything acting like this! I'll fucking kill you before I let that happen! I feel terrible. <laughs> How? Wait. Go fucking talk with your son, you idiot. It, it Damn, won't work like this. I think it's time. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... what if he doesn't? Ken, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. God, you fuck. I, I, I can't. I can't make this choice. This. Come on. You can't. I love you, Ken, but this is beyond you. Stay with me. Your son loves you, and you should remember him as the silly boy we used to have. Not this. Oh boy. Oh boy. I can't. Lee, be with him. Conscious taking care of Doug. I thought he was going to die. 
She's putting him out of his misery. Oh. Yeah. Look, Claire. Things are... No. God! It had to be done. Okay. There was no other choice. Okay. I'm gonna go get her. She's probably a mess. Ben, get Clementine on the train, all right? And keep your eyes open. <sighs> Shit. I can't even commentate right now. I am totally fucked. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever been as emotional about a game as I am right now. I can say that much. <laughs> what? Get! Get! Gotcha! She shot herself? Why? Cat? Honey? Oh, fucking God! <laughs> I'm so sorry. She couldn't... She, 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 she just... Oh, oh, oh fuck! Oh my god. I should have let Kenny do it. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. There goes his family. <laughs> 